Good morning, everybody. This is Diggs. It's another beautiful day out here in the Pacific Northwest. And today we are going to be talking about more near reincarnation tips. If you haven't seen my first video, make sure you go check it out. Let's go ahead and dig in. All right. So probably the biggest tip that I have for you guys that I had no idea about is actually in the summon menu and this is the only way as far as i know to access this there is actually a collection system in this game which does give you bonuses based off of how many characters you have and how awakened they are and the collection system is permanent for some characters so if you're wondering why would i ever awaken my original three star characters well here's your answer right here it gives plus 6% costume EXP, but it goes higher the more awakened your characters are. And these are just the general three-star bonuses. And then you get down to the more permanent four-star bonuses where they give more gold earned per chapter of farming in the main quest. And you are gonna be farming a lot of the main quest, let me tell you. Not only this, scrolling down even more, even the limited time units do actually give bonuses in the time period that they are here. This includes the limited time units that are free. You can see that the four star seems to be giving me plus 10% drop rate for chapters one to nine of the main story quest right now. I can click on this information tab and it will show you how I would unlock 20% drop rate. That's by having all characters ascended to one star. I could unlock 30% drop rate by having all characters ascended to two stars and so on and so forth up to 50% drop rate. Coming down here to the free near characters, you actually can get when they're fully awakened a 50% gold bonus. You can awaken them for free. I think that's bonkers. I like, I'm literally like, what? Right? And this stacks with the other units that you might have pulled. So collection bonus level one, you're going to get a 10% drop rate for chapter one through nine as well. So these all stack. That's crazy to me. I had no idea. Now, granted, I could not find any daily quest, gorilla quest or dungeon quest yet. But holy cow, when Divid Dead pointed this out to me, he had uh, literally just ended his stream and we were talking. I was like, what the? Like, I was so amazed. I had no idea. Also, if you click next on here, you also do get a very good sneak preview of the character and the weapon, which I did not know until I was dicking around on the screen. Now, next thing I didn't know was the chapter summons. Of course, these are monthly rewards. However, there are non-monthly rewards and monthly rewards that are not necessarily featured on the main screen. For example, you can get large stamina recovery, you can get explorer's ticket, you can get medium stamina recovery and small stamina recovery from doing these tickets. Not only that, you can get other items like refining agents, character enhancements, and so on and so forth. And each one is different. Each chapter summon ticket gives you different items with a different percentage, but almost all of them have media stamina recovery, small stamina recovery. These are going to be worth it to do it monthly and you can make a lot of money just from doing these it's so incredibly easy i mean look at how much money i have i have 1,193,124 i am at the point now where gold no longer does anything for me and that is a good place to be now the next thing people are going to say or the next thing i'm going to surprise you about is bookmarks i did not know uh, hopping out here, we're going to go to the shop and we're going to go to exchange. I did not know how to get bookmarks for the longest time. And I wanted to get bookmarks because I wanted to get this black pearl right here. Of course, being able to ascend that four star weapon is so important, right? So how do you get the bookmarks? Well, you actually get the bookmarks by going to sell and by actually selling your weapon, not weapons. Uh, where are they? Materials. So you actually get the bookmarks by selling your character duplication uh, cards right here. So you can see if I wanted to sell his cards, uh, the battle text, uh, Dissenting Gunman, for example, I would get 128 bookmarks from selling this duplicate text, right? So that is how you obtain bookmarks. You can only sell the three star and the four star. Personally, I think having known now that you can actually get a collection bonus from max three star or max ascending all of your units or all of your three stars. 
I would not have sold these for bookmarks. But I also have to acknowledge that, you know, maybe maybe that item is something that people want maybe that four star weapon ascension material is important enough to people that they would rather do that than ascend their three stars all right what else to talk about well we can talk about the deck loadout feature which i had no idea about where if you go to if you go to your deck list you can actually copy a deck and put it onto another deck I had absolutely no idea about that. That literally surprised, like, I was manually creating all of my decks all the time. Uh, if you watched my previous video, uh, where I did talk about kind of what daily missions were important, coming down to the Dark Memory Quest, I had no idea that normal daily missions unlocked when you did ascend your um, Dark Weapon. I did know that normal missions unlocked, I did not realize that they were daily missions and that you can unlock the normal daily mission just by ascending every dark weapon. So you don't have to have the rainbow cubes fully leveled to unearth the rainbow cubes invested in a dark weapon to unlock that specific dark units dark daily. So you could ascend every single dark weapon to the point where you do get your normal daily and that will substantially help on your progress towards your dark weapon every day because you're going to be able to farm these dark dailies much more frequently on all of the different characters for a much broader swath of weapons. So that is probably one of the biggest things that I found out recently and is one of the most important things I think as well. That's pretty much it for the quick tips I wanted to give you guys. I don't want to bore you all day long, so I am going to keep this short and sweet. If you have more tips, make sure you leave them down in the comment section down below. If you want to see my previous tips video, make sure you follow the link in the description as well. Um, it has some really good ones in there that may end up helping you, especially for the newer players out there. Uh, make sure you guys check me out on stream. I will be streaming tonight. Um, tonight is Sunday, so I will be probably doing a Wotiv reset stream with maybe some near involved as well so i'll see you guys there and uh, have a great rest of your day